And now, your host of the 2014 Smartphone Awards, Joanna Stern. Thank you. Thank you. It is so exciting to be here tonight. What a year it was. Apple bent to the pressure to finally release its first phablet, quite literally. Amazon's first phone failed to catch, well, I'm not gonna scream fire in this crowded theater. And then it felt like almost every day there was a new best Android phone. That's why, in preparation for this big night, I've been testing most smartphones on store shelves. No, really, I've been putting over 20 phones through the paces, testing everything from battery life to camera quality. Don't worry, this is not like other award shows. We don't make you sit through other boring categories like best design bezel before getting to the good stuff. So without any further ado, the winner of the overall best smartphone is the iPhone 6. Let's take a look at why. The combination of its polished hardware design, bigger 4.7 inch screen size, camera, call quality, and battery life make the iPhone 6 the most well-rounded phone you can buy. The camera in particular is the main reason I recommend it over any other phone. It consistently takes crisper, better low light shots than all the other top Android phones. Hey, Apple fangirl, iPhones are boring. Yeah, never heard that before. But lucky for that guy in the third row who's gonna be escorted out of here very soon, there's an Android phone I like almost as much. The winner of the best Android phone goes to the Moto X. The rounded back, the HD screen, the clean, uncluttered version of Android, and the way you can customize the phone's body are all tops. The camera is the only weak spot. And there's more. I've fallen deeply, deeply in love with the functionality and design of Android 5.0 Lollipop. And Motorola says it's coming soon to the X, before the competition. But maybe the Moto X's five inch screen is too big for you. The best Android phone that fits in most people's hands is the Samsung Galaxy Alpha, which has surprisingly good battery life and build quality. But if you don't need cutting edge specs and you're looking to save some money, the best low cost phone you can buy is, Motorola's cleaning up tonight, the Moto G. For just $199 unlocked or free with a two year contract, you get a nice feeling phone with a decent camera. The 299 OnePlus is still the best unlocked phone you can get for your money, but it's hard to come by. But of course, this was the year of the giant phone, or the phablet. If you're looking for a phone that has a screen 5.5 inches or bigger, the best one to get is a tie between the Galaxy Note 4 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Each has benefits that the other doesn't. The iPhone 6 Plus has a better camera and battery life, while the Note 4 has a far better screen and the multitasking software to take advantage of it. Stay with us, we'll be back in a few to present this year's Lifetime Achievement Award to BlackBerry.